This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. And they were convinced that Jesus was alive. Skeptics, taught to be skeptics because that was the way of life. It was a philosophy back then. They were taught to be that way, convinced that Jesus was alive. Now the facts are facts. And so we should take a look at the facts so that we can see what was actually going on. The first fact is that there was a broken Roman seal. The Roman seal, as I mentioned, covered this entrance of the tomb, stood for the power and authority of the Roman Empire, and the consequences of breaking it were severe. The full authority of the empire would have been called into action to find those responsible. And if they were apprehended, it meant automatic crucifixion upside down. That, that was, there was, no, there was no jury or anything like that. So, well, you know, you didn't really need to. If you broke the seal, you were crucified upside down. That's just the way it was. People feared breaking the seal. The disciples were in complete disarray and fear after this. They were hiding in a room. They were in fear for their own lives. They had been with this Jesus who had been killed for being a, what they called a political insurrectionist. And so they were part of that. And so they were afraid for their own lives. It's impossible to believe that Peter, the chief disciple, the one that denied Christ three times before Christ was crucified, would now have the boldness to attack a Roman guard unit, break the seal, and steal a body. I'm sorry, I'm too much of a skeptic to believe that. There was a broken Roman seal. The second fact is that there was an empty tomb. Nobody denied that. The Christians certainly didn't deny it, but the unchristians, the lost people, they didn't deny it either. There was nobody denying that there was an empty tomb. The disciples didn't start their ministry after Christ's death and resurrection in another city or another country. Think about this. They didn't say, well, now we need to start a, a ministry, so uh, probably it's not a good time to start it here. Let's go to France. You know, they didn't do that. They stayed in the very city of Jerusalem where Christ was crucified, and they began proclaiming his resurrection in the streets. And nobody disputed it. The empty tomb was too notorious to be denied. Everybody knew about it. The claim of the resurrection of Jesus could not have been made for more than just a few minutes uh, if the empty tomb was not a well-known fact for everybody in Jerusalem. If somebody knew that that was a hoax, that there was no truth to it, none whatsoever, that claim could not have lasted more than just a few minutes on the streets of Jerusalem. Josephus, a Jewish historian, who was not a believer, he wrote about it. Gamaliel, who was a member of the Jewish High Court, which was the Sanhedrin, he suggested that the Christian movement was God's doing. That's what he suggested. And listen, he wouldn't have suggested that if the tomb were still occupied or if the Sanhedrin knew the whereabouts of Christ's body. He wouldn't have said that. It was a common fact. Everybody knew that there was an empty tomb. Looking for a Bible study that's focused on the practical application of the Bible? Check out our website at theopenclass.com.